Hey guys, welcome to the channel, Ali here. In today's video, I'm gonna review Cluckerito. A ton of you have actually suggested I come here to review this place. I put a poll on my Insta, and a load of you said these guys have got some cracking burgers. So, quite excited to go inside, actually. So without further ado, I'm gonna cut it here. I'm super hungry, let's go inside. So inside, I'm having a quick look at the menu. They've actually got a lot more than I thought they would do. They've actually got a really, really big menu. So. Looking at it, what do, you, what do you guys think I should get? Or what have you had? If you've had something here before, let me know in the comments. What I'm gonna do is actually get quite a few items actually from the menu, do a good review for you guys. But yeah, like I said, menu is actually much bigger than I thought. That's a nice little surprise actually. Okay, yeah, so I had a look at the menu. I've ordered quite a few items. Actually got a few burgers, we've got some wings, we've got some loaded fries, we've got a fair few things actually. They've got some really, really cool sounding stuff. So the chaps are gonna order it now. It's gonna come out any second. So stick around whilst I start that review. So just before the food comes, I thought actually I'd have a shake. I had a quick look at the menu. They've got a fair few shakes. What I thought I'd do is get something just a little bit different. So they've obviously got like the chocolate stuff, the Oreo, all that kind of stuff, all there. But I've never seen a Jammy Dodger shake. I don't know if you guys have had that. So I thought I'd give that a go. That's got some white chocolate, uh, Jammy Dodgers, obviously, some ice cream and some strawberry sauce there as well. That is the jammiest milkshake I think I've ever had. So it actually tastes pretty much as it's described. It tastes like a jammy dodger. There's some white chocolate in there. Good start, but let's get that food out now. Right, okay, so I'm actually gonna start with the Perry Burger. I thought I'd go with something grilled because they've got lots of fried food, but I just fancy something grilled. The actual bun itself is super soft. It looks good, I am super hungry. Let me just show it to you guys. I think I would probably have a double uh, fillet actually, but still looks good. I love that they've actually marinated it, cooked it with the actual peri sauce, but then after it's cooked, they put a load more peri sauce on there because the peri itself is flavored really well. Good amount of spice for that. The chicken is actually quite soft. The bun, the actual seeded bun itself is super soft, so it's uh, easy on the bite. Really nice. Moving on next now, actually to the hot wings. These look like sort of fried wings, battered fried wings, actually dip in some spicy sauce, which I've got a bit of a weakness for actually. They, they look phenomenal, I have to say. Look at that. They just look like these are just packed, packed full of flavor. Hoping for something soft, hoping for something tender. Let's give it a go. Oh. oh. Hey man, piping hot. I love that the batter, you guys know I love a crispy batter. It has that, but the actual sauce itself is absolutely delicious. These wings taste really, really fresh. You get four in a portion, good size as well, for hey man wings for sure. Right, so I've got something called the Bollywood Burger coming next, because that's something that you guys said I should definitely get. It looks absolutely massive. It's looking at me from that side of the table. But just want to quickly show you the packaging. It's pretty cool actually. So we come down here, recyclable, and it's pretty cool. It's actually housing a double, oh no, sorry, a single spicy fillet burger. It's gonna say double because it's actually really, really, really big. So looks like a double. Looks good that guys. Right, this is actually looking pretty tasty. I love my spicy chicken burgers. This looks fantastic. So very much like the wings, it's a battered piece of chicken fried and dip in their own sauce. So let's give this a go with some cheese actually, I should say as well. Hey man, piping, piping car. Really good size fillet actually as well. The sauce itself, it's got a really, really good amount of spiciness to it. A good kick to it. My tongue is kind of like sizzling right now, sort of tingling in like a good way. And what I like is the actual buns, they're super soft. They're not dominating that burger. The sort of meat to bread ratio is actually quite good because I do not like when there's like a massive amount of bun, tiny amount of chicken. They've sort of nailed that ratio perfectly. That is delicious. Thank you guys who actually recommended I should come here because I've never been here. That is a fantastic spicy chicken burger. But let's now move on to the Bollywood burger. Before actually I carry on, I'm gonna have a little bit more of my milkshake because the wings, in particular burger, have got a really good amount of spice to them, so. I swear I can't take spicy food. <laughs> All right, let's move on now. They've actually got something which is called the Bollywood burger. It's absolutely massive. In fact, I'm gonna to defer to the menu because we've got a ton of stuff in it, so. Keep the camera, cameraman, keep it on me. I'm gonna read the menu. So the Bollywood Burger has a seven ounce, uh, seven ounce beef patty. It's got a tandoori chicken steak fillet, so it'll be like a piece of tandoori chicken. It has uh, cheese, it's got some sauteed peppers and onions, and they've got their naga chili pickle, hey man, and some spicy mayo relish as well. So let me show it to you guys, because it's actually a feat 
of architecture, massive. So have a look at this guys, absolutely massive. There's layer upon layer upon layer. And this here is keeping it all intact, massive. Look at that. Oh, it's actually a correction. It's actually got a couple of beef patties. I said a beef patty. It's actually got a couple. I'm gonna eat this in the most dignified way that I can. <laughs> Guys, so that is a flavor explosion in your mouth. There's so many flavors going on there. You can really taste the tandoori. The beef patties come in. I love the actual mayo, the spicy mayo they've got in there. The naga has got such a distinct taste. I only tried naga for the first time. Actually, when I went to Oldham, I started an Oldham place. If you're from Oldham and you're watching this, subscribe. So I've got loads of Oldham videos coming. But I had a naga in a restaurant called Food Junkie, actually in Oldham. It's delicious. That really, really comes through. Yeah, that is a flavor explosion in your mouth. Each element is actually pretty good. The only sort of thing I would say, if you're getting that delivered or if you're ordering it, because it's such a large sort of, you know, pieces of meat and sauce and all that kind of stuff, I would probably knife and fork that because there's so much going on. There's so much flavor. I would 100% knife and fork that. Fantastic burger. Like I said, massive on flavor. So moving on now, I was gonna do uh, just chips, which they have obviously, but they're pretty standard. So I think you guys know what that's going to be like so i thought i'd do something a bit different these are actually the cheese uh, jalapeno and buffalo fries so essentially they're like loaded fries so you've got uh, a bed of fries on top of that you've got some of their cheese you've got some jalapenos you've got some chicken you've got some of their spicy mayo there as well i think they're priced pretty well if you consider the amount of meat you're getting in a portion that's priced well but let's try it fans of like loaded fries i think are going to really enjoy that what I like to do, so if I get, for example, I would 100% get their spicy burger and wings again. I like to get plain fries next to it because all the flavors coming from the burger and the fries, pretty plain, maybe a bit of peri salt. They keep their crunch because they've got nothing on top of them. So the steam isn't compressing them. So I personally wouldn't get them. But if you like loaded fries, I think you're gonna enjoy them. But me, man, I'm a purist. Give me some fries, give me a burger, give me some wings. Right guys, so if you lot think I'm tired, you must be new to the channel. I've got plenty of room left, plenty of food coming. I've actually got some steak on fries, however, with a bit of a difference actually. These have their homemade buffalo sauce with actually a bit of cheese and actually their homemade gravy mixed up. It looks phenomenal. This just looks amazing. The cheese pulls are insane. I mean, look at that. Get on with this because like I said, it looks wicked. And actually, should be noted, for the gym fans out there. The actual meat is really chunky, with a good amount of protein in that. The meat is decent, but I love the actual house gravy mixed in with cheese and buffalo. It's got like a good peppery kick to that, a little bit herby. It's on a big bed of chips as well. I'm gonna move on guys, because actually there's quite a lot and I'm waffling on actually, but these are really good because I look, oh, look at that. The actual cheese pull is insane. That's infused with gravy, like I said, buffalo sauce. Awesome. Talking about protein, look how much chicken they've given me here. This is shredded chicken, sauteed with peppers, onions, and a little bit of their buffalo sauce, again on a bed of fries. Look how much meat is actually there. There is a ton of meat going on here. I, when I first came here, I knew I'd get burgers. I did not know they had such a wide variety of food. Let's give it a go. On that, I think what I would do, it's nice, the meat's good. I would add a bit of spice, guys, if you get in that, you want a bit of heat, it looks spicy, not that spicy, it's a bit sweet actually because of like maybe the red peppers. Add a bit of chilli to that for sure. Right guys, moving on. This one actually is called the Cluckinell. Cluckinell, this looks good, yo. <laughs> so this has actually got a couple of uh, beef patties. It's got some nachos in there. It's got an actual a strip as well, which is pretty cool. There's some cheese up in there. There's a little bit of spicy sauce as well. There's actually lots and lots going on there. I'm gonna take out Actually, I'm going to leave the pin in actually because then it'll keep its shape. I learned that from the tandoori burger or the uh, the Bollywood burger. That went everywhere, but like I said, at, that was like, it had such a good balance of spice and sweetness. It was like an explosion in my mouth. It was nice. I think I would take mayo out of it. I don't like mayo with beef burgers in, in general, but the beef patties themselves are nice. I like the jalapenos. The tortillas give it a bit of crunch. That is perfectly serviceable. They've got, I thought I'd actually get, because they've got a lot of chicken, you see, so I thought I'd just get a classic cheeseburger because I know lots of you guys, you, know, you come with your families, your friends, your partner and whatnot. One of you might get chicken, another of you might want beef, right? So I actually thought I'd do a little chicken section and a little beef section. So this is actually the classic burger. There's a, a couple of four ounce patties in there. There's some cheese, it's their own homemade burger sauce, there's some lettuce. 
It looks the part, it looks like a pretty good cheeseburger. Again, similar to the Clackinell, perfectly serviceable. So if you are getting chicken, which that's personally, I just tend to veer towards those spicy chicken burgers really in this place, I would get that. But if you're with someone that wants a burger, I think the Clackinell's a pretty good shout. I love some of the other food as well. What I'm gonna do actually, guys, is I'm gonna finish off as much as I can, <laughs> then I'll catch up with you guys outside. But before I do that, if you haven't already, make sure you like the video, subscribe to me. Uh, I've got a ton of videos coming out as well. And do you know what? Share with your friends as well. <laughs> right guys, so that is me done. I've had a ton of food. You can probably hear the bus next to me, but I'm actually gonna walk home because I've had a ton of food. I need to burn it off. But yeah, recommend these guys. I'm gonna leave their details in the description. So if you wanna check them out, I'll put like the, the Google location for these guys as always. I'll put their details in the description. But guys, thank you so much for watching my video. It really, really means a lot. Like the video if you like it, share with your friends and subscribe to see more. See you in the next one, guys. Bye, 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 bye.